What's up, everybody? We are going live with some adventure quest. Ah, oh, crap. What? Why did it do that? It made this stupid thing all off center. Hold on. Oh, not that. Window capture. Hold on. God dang it. Hey, what's up, Mike? How's it going? I'm actually fixing something right now on the vertical side real quick because for some reason it's um it's acting up. Hold on. Windows capture. Let's see, transform with the screen. Let's see. How are you doing, Mike? What you been up to, man? Oh, there it goes. Okay, that should fix that. And take Finity Goal. Should be right here. Perfect. There we go. Now, now we have everything set the way it should be. Let's see. Don't need any backtracking. There we go. Let's see if this works correctly. There it goes. All right. So yeah, so we're going to be playing some adventure quest. Why? Because uh, I'm just curious. I'm just kind of curious of what this game is after all these years later. Hope you're doing well, Mike, as you uh, lurk on in, you're probably working <laughs> as it comes through. So let's, um, let's play some adventure quest because reasons. I want to see how it is. So, um, oh no, I must, uh, I, I can't use my real name. What shall I ever do? I'm going to call myself, I'll just say DB fake. Keep things, keep life simple. Next. As a matter of fact, I'm not working. Oh, you're not working tonight. Oh, check you out. All right, so I'm a fighter. Let's see. We'll be. <laughs> I love. Uh, I'm going to pick something kind of. Uh, I'm not going to make a serious character. Let's see. Let, what, what can we do? Got the balding, the fro. Got the Chung Li. You got whatever the hell that is. There you go. You can just change his eyes up. The Daft Punk video character. I know. Just make him red. There you go. Just make I'll just make him uh there's hot pink. There's orange. There's the the gray. The red's a bit too much. So I think I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go with blue. Blue of the green eyes because reasons. And uh, yeah, I think this is uh, all I need. My new character is ready. I've noticed that there hasn't been any music yet. I can't remember if this game actually had music or not. So if all else fails, I might add, I might add in 
some music here in a second. Hold on, let's see here. There you go. Toggle and options, but it's very basic. Well, I have uh, some lo-fi music going on that I, could, that I could play. And then... There we go. Now we now we got some uh, lo-fi chill music as we play. So let's see here. All right, so let's start the new character. I I wish I had my old character on here, but you know it's been like twenty years, so you know. play all right let's let's see what adventure quest is like all these years later there we go so hold on let me do something real quick because my stupid thing wasn't shared go live retro gaming adventure quest there we go Replay tutorial. Visit uh, Twilly in the battle on. There we go. There's there there there's the music. Continue. Oh God. Greetings and salutations, DB Fig. Welcome to the town of Battle on, home to the Guardian Tower. I am Matrix Krieger, resident paladin, and your host for this tutorial. Great forces, both good and evil, and everything in between, are gathering strength across the land. New quests and wars happen weekly, so there's always something fun to explore. First, let's take a quick uh, tour to town. That little fellow on the left is Twilly. Twilly is a Moglin. They are a peaceful race, and most Moglins practice nature and magic healing. Twilly has many quests for you to complete, and will share any rumors he has heard. Moglins just love gossip, so just say hello and he gets quite talkative. Now let me show you the buildings in town. This is Yulgar, uh, Yulgar Inn, a great spot to rest your weary bones after a long day of adventure. Yulgar is the home of the town's blacksmith and sells all types of equipment. He sells armor and shields as well as, as, well as melee weaponry and swords, daggers, and axes. There are many rooms to explore in the inn with many quests. Do not forget to check upstairs and say hello to Blackhawk. He is the fighter class trainer. We also have Rubina, the Hood Range Shop. Rubina is unrivaled with the bow, and she is the Archer Class Trainer. If you prefer some distance between you and your enemy, then this is the place for you. Rubina has a vast selection of bows and spears. Here's the shop of the Frog Zard Hunter. This guy specializes in hunting down the rarest of Zards. Visit the shop to find equipment and specifically designed for Zard fighting. Whether you're tracking Zards or the Zard Master himself, the shop will offer many quests to explore. These tents are home of the combat trainers. Visit this group of seasoned veterans to increase your stats. Plus, find more info and advanced uh, mechanics. Right, you log in once a year just to keep your character? That's funny. If you want to try to build, you could uh, untrain your stats to zero and then visit the combat. Okay, all right. This is Aria's pet shop. Here, young Aria keeps animals of all kinds. Some natural, some mystical, and some are just plain weird. Right next door is Walric's magic shop. Walric is a powerful archmage who can train you in wizard or mage. He also sells useless spells and magic weaponry. 
Examples are staffs, specters, maces. Every magic user should have spells once their MP runs out. Yes. The housing shop is home of Higgins Real Estate. Buy a home from Higgins to have a place to rest your head after a day of adventure, or purchase an estate and build a massive army to go to war with you. Volbug sells buildings and supplies. Look for a quick adventure? Cook these mountains in the battle on and randomly select a monster for you to battle. This, is, this hero is the Guardian Tower. Guardians are the elite protectors of lore and, uh, and assess the special equipment and ability to take every quest they can find. Inside the Guardian Tower, you'll find powerful weapon equipment only Guardians may wield. Oh god. Uh oh. A sound came from the edge of town. I know the sound of undead movement anywhere. We better go investigate. Oh no! It's an undead! Haha, <laughs> I knew it. A foul death knight approaches. With my help, DB Fig. We will send these bag of bones back to the nether which they came. But first, let's explain the, the basis of combat. Move your mouse over the enemy's portrait to view their stats. Okay. Combat defenses are enemies base. Okay, I know what. Resistances, yes, yes. Creatures can also have negative resistances. Yep. Yeah. This death knight attacks with light and darkness. Okay. This is just the basic of basic ass RPG. That's all for combat. I love how the basic background music and the battle music are overlapping right now. Like all these years later, you still hear the overall town entrance music and the battle music at the same time. That's funny. This actually feels like it's really loud, right? Is there a way to lo <laughs> Is there an option? Oh, here's the options menu. More settings. Auto graphics use old sound. Battle log. There we go. Hopefully that's a little bit better. The monster is damaged. The explosion is four damage. Ranged. I can't believe this game still exists. The monster is damaged in the explosion. This guy is supposed to be a great paladin. And is getting updated. That's funny. I have no spells. Yay, I got 10 gold. And I leveled up. I am now level 1. I wasn't level 1 before. Hmm, the undead. Do not usually appear this close to the hills of Adalon. Something must be driving them and leading this way. Drakoth. Drakath. He's an incredibly powerful Dracolich. This is a powerful foe, DP Fig, but I know we can defeat it to get. <laughs> DP Fig, no! Undead monstrosity, I shall send you back to the grave to avenge DP Fig. <laughs> my, my, my. What do we have here? Have we a little accident, did we? Welcome to my realm, unfortunate one. I am the servant of death, harvester of souls. Fear not, even in death, there is much adventure to be had. In my realm, you can find ways to change your name, or untrained stats you wish to move elsewhere. 
You may also journey through my realm to collect hourglasses and uh, can get a reward if you bring me enough. I sense you have a greater destiny, so I will not keep you in my realm. You are chosen to do great things. However, you owe me a favor for this. DB Fig, I knew you wouldn't be defeated so easily. I can hold this beast at bay by, by myself, but I cannot defeat it without your aid. For a foe this powerful, you should get the appropriate equipment, have some spare light weapons. Tell me which ones you want and we can fight together. Pick a weapon. I, do, do I want... I want the Radiant Axe, the Shimmering Crossbow, or the Spe Scepter of the Star. I want the Radiant Axe, please. Do I want to buy the Radiant Axe for zero gold? Sure. Cool. Continue. Well chosen, Nibby Fig. Now we should defeat the thing together. Wait. I'm supposed to be using the weapon, aren't I? That's not an axe. Hold on, weapons. There we go. So now I could use it. Do I have any spells? No spells. I'm just cracking up because I still hear the original damn music of the game playing in the background. What? What is... Wait, is this from the website? No, it's not from the website. It's the game. I even turned the music off and I'm still getting music. I put it at zero and I'm still getting the music. <laughs> it's not a sound effect either. That is amazing. That is amazing. Auto graphics. So, like, literally right off the jump, we're just getting bugs. That is great. Yeah, if I remember right, this game was very heavy on the, um, on having the, like, the right, oh, oh, we killed him. Well, fought DB Fig, I would like to tell you about our classes of, uh, Adventure Quest. Classes are jobs you select. You gain access and when you equip the appropriate armor, you need to equip rogue leathers to use the rogue skill. For example, a class armor will also become more powerful as you train that class, so they remain useful for longer periods of time. There are various tiers of classes. You will uh, find Warrior, Rogue, Mage, Scholar. Later classes will require having mastered one of the more lower classes. In summary, keep checking new classes. I want to introduce you to some great people. Oh my god. Just literally brought the entire crew. Just, just straight up brought the entire crew. Thank you for keeping a deaf knight from making a meal of unsuspected townspeople. You can find most of us here in town. Like me, Prockley the town crier. I could sell you many uh, titles to show off your accomplishments. I am a Valencia, the hunt treasure hunter. You can uh, I can sell you mighty Z token and equipments. Each Z token item has an extra zing to it, something special to make it worth more than just gold. You can find me inside Dragonstone, outside of Battle on trading Dragon Slayers. 
New updates are posted every week. Here's the travel map. If you ever need help, you have questions, uh, visit the Balon forums. Now that you have the basics, you're ready to start your quest. Choose a friend to adventure with. Uh, who should I? I'll, I'll let chat choose. Should I go by myself? Should I have Warlick, Aquella, Artrix, Twilly, or uh, Robina? Who should be my Who should be my adventure quest partner in this? Or should I just go solo? You know, that's the, the, these are the hard questions I have to ask. Or... Mm, nothing. Okay. Uh, I will pick um, Aquella. <laughs> Rabina is this <laughs> decent. No. All right, so here we are. There's a rip in the sky. Robina's decent. So let's just go into the mountains. Uh oh, it's a limited time shop. The eclipse. It's uh. 1500 gold Z tokens. So if I want the Herald Eclipse Blade. It costs 396 tokens. So, like, if you were trying to buy tokens, It, oh, Conquer the Battlefield is the Doom Knight. Look at all this. Look at all this. Wow, this is a lot of not. Yeah, that's crazy. They literally have gear for the Eclipse. Bombs have a chance to drop tokens also. Oh, gotcha. They literally have gear for the Eclipse. This game is still updated, which is hilarious to me. That's great. Yeah. So let's just go into the mountains and see what adventure I could go on. So that's a light lizard. It's not going to be very good because I am a light axe guy. So. Let me switch back to a regular sword. There we go. Hey, yo, did she just call Cthulhu to help me? Yay, victory. Cool. So I know I could be playing Final Fantasy XIV right about now, but instead, I'm playing Adventure Quest. Because reasons. That's funny. <laughs> exactly, just confused. Just pure confusion. In high level monster arena. Let's see, heard any rumors? Mog uh blah, blah blah blah. Let's go. Well, you must be brave. The Mogul Forest is a dangerous place. 
So test your skill to defeat 20 monsters and you receive a special reward. Sure. Oh. Weapon. Ready to axe. Yeah, he's uh Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat this guy, beat this challenge. See, I have no spells. I love how I'm just like decked out in armor right off, right, right off the bat. So it's like a, it's a Moglin fiend. I love how the tree in the background has like this constant state of surprise. He's just, he's just absolutely shocked. Final Fantasy XIV, what is he in that game? I know, what is Final Fantasy XIV? Versus the greatness that is Adventure Quest. level two I beat one monster ready for another yeah sure I, I mean I'm full health so yeah let's 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 try again oh my god I'm killing Dan <laughs> yo I'm fighting Bambi let's see what are they weak to oh no not the deer <laughs> Oh man, that's funny. <laughs> Dear Lord. <laughs> you remember this enemy? Just the good good a uh, good old deer. Oh god. Oh god. The fuck? No, evil, evil deer. This is the evil, evil deer. I see her, dear lord. I wasn't kidding. Yeah, I know. See, because it starts as nature. Deer are cute animals. At first, appear like young, harmless animals, but if you threaten them or their home, watch out. Do you need any healing? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> hey, yo, I'm going. <laughs> I'm just fighting woodland animals at this point. Yo, he had a rocket launcher. Oh no. The turtle. I know I know I don't want that turtle near me. You better hurry. I'm trying to. I think that turtle's gonna get to me. It's gonna be gonna cut it real close.
No, I missed. No, stick, get away from me, turtle. God damn it. God, and of course the turtle takes the slowest attack. Oh God. <laughs> I just kept on missing at the end. Ready for another? I'm done for now. Goodbye. Let's go let's go to the inn. Welcome, adventurer. The Devour Sangha. Talk to hands. Starting gear. I have some spare gear for starting adventurers. Have a look. You can take these items temporarily. In which case, they disappear a logout for 20 Z tokens in your current item. You could take them permanently. Oh no. I don't want temporary nonsense. Yulgor Forge, currently under construction. Use the slash prices. Contain secret information about new shipments. So heavy, you cannot move. So all, all, all the little secrets. Can I ask you a favor? Well, where do I go to just get my HP up again? Oh, okay. This is... What are... Starter pack. Let's see. For only $15, guys, I could get 25 Zeke tokens. Or... For $9.95, I could get 2,500 Z tokens and a bunch of armor. Click the fountain. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. I figured I had to stay at the inn. Or something. All right, let's go out back out in the world. A box, dude. This thing has that box is moving. I have found a medium sized box. Something's definitely moving inside. It's probably an animal that's being shipped by traders, but fell off the carriage. Whatever it is will surely die if you do not release it. It could be dangerous. Would you like to set it free? Yes, it's an Arctic wolf. Ready your weapon, but this creature is clearly grateful. It seems to want to repay your act of kindness for helping you in your ventures for the rest of the day. Would you like to have him join your forces as a guest? Sure. Cool, I got myself an Arctic wolf. That seems lucky. Let's go back to, uh... I'm ready. Oh God. So he's resistant to light. So weapon wise, earth, yeah. So I'll attack with this. Oh yeah, the wolf. Oh, that hurt. These, 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 this, this art style, man. This, this screams. Like the amount of people who used to draw like anime characters back in the day. This is a hundred percent like what you see on that. So what's, what's that book you always find in, in bookstores? Like how to draw anime. And it's always this looking guy. You can talk about doing this, the OG style. 
Let's see what the OG. Uh, auto graphics. Use old. This is use old icons. Use old sounds. That's just better graphics speed adjust. I see a thing from use old sounds. Or is it like the old icons? Oh, you think it's old icons? Okay. I like how I don't even kill him. He's just mad. Hey, but I leveled up. Hey, I'm level three now. All right. So. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's, let's click the old icons and see what it looks like. It's like, this game was pretty well made and also incredibly not well made for its time. It's, it's a, it's a very weird mishmash. I just remember I, I, I used to play this uh, in college um, because I worked full time and I went to college full time. And uh, but I was part of the honor council, which was a group to like promote don't cheating and all that type of stuff. But I just u literally used it as a room to study. <laughs> so when we were just sitting there having lunch and because it was normally empty, I just basically, uh, I don't think I did a thing for the honor council, like ever. I just, I just sat there in the, in the, in the chair and, uh, played this and studied in the room. It was great. Cause I got to, I, I basically just got to sit there and, and didn't have to eat lunch in the dormitory area for the college. I think the most I ever did was make some uh, business cards for something or a flyer or something. Because I was the only one that knew how to use basic Photoshop. Thanks for the healing. Another one of these. Allies use. No. I'm, I'm, I'm just having the wolf help me out. He's darkness. Weapons, radiant axe. So I, I should be hitting him harder. You would think. This remembers reminds me of all the flash games. That reminds me, a couple weeks ago, um, speaking of Flash stuff, I, I, and I posted in the random fun section of uh, my Discord, um, there was a, a animation that was huge on Newground. They made like three or four parts to it. It was actually really well done, called There She Is. It was, a, it was like a, from Korea, and it was like a cat and a bunny that fell in love and there was like a whole thing of like 
people anti their relationship and racism and all that type of stuff. It was actually pretty well done. And then just out of the blue, I guess a couple years ago, they asked for like a patron to make a, you know, a follow up to it. And I guess they, you know, they did it and they released the newest episode almost like 17 years later. Which is pretty wild. I'm done for now. Longsword. So there's a firebird. There's probably so many enemies in this game now. I could just drink the water and be a okay. So, like, that's just that was pretty much the whole of EverQuest, other than the quests and stuff, huh? Because this is Battle On. This is the martial artist. So, yeah, this is the old school EverQuest. Who are you? Oh God, you look terrifying. Hi. I'm uh, a fel <laughs> Altai, also known as Miss Fixit, among many other names. I bet you're wondering why I'm here. I'm the one in the Knights of the Order, or Ku, if you prefer. We are responsible for making sure Laura retains balance intended. I'm also former EverQuest Bugs Head Moderator, and I was elected Spokes Knight for this. <laughs> I wonder... If this person still works for the company. If they're still a moderator. This was probably like a very active moderator back in the day. And this person is probably like somebody's mom. <laughs> and she's never logged in in like, like 15 years. <laughs> uh Quest. Oh, okay, so she is probably still is the character sprite looks maintained. Yeah, maybe. There's Rabina. Okay, so test your abilities in combat practice. Let's you train up to 240 points. Okay, the sword owes Uda a big favor, blah, blah. You can help test you out your equipment abilities. Sure. Need to take the void out. Sounds good. Oh my God, look at this. That is, that is old EverQuest right there. That is old ass EverQuest right there. Okay.
combat practice, untraining, player stat info. To reset all your stats. What about training? Okay. I have uh, points for training. Dexterity. Train. I have a select any. I did. I have select. I select. Oh, hold on. Plus five dexterity train. Okay, so I guess I trained. I trained. Let's see here. This is public, all right? Bambi looks nervous. Yo, what's a vinyl? I don't know why my chat is not showing up. I, I'm sorry if you were talking. I wasn't responding to you, vinyl. For some reason, because I have the chat in my OBS program, but then I just want to check the chat in the web browser of the YouTube thing itself, and then your chat pops up. It's supposed to show. Hold on. If I type in test... What? Now it shows it. Hold on, let me type test again. That is weird. So now it shows your chat. Yeah, I don't think sure if you're still here, Vinyl. But if so, if you're listening in... You're, uh, you're there. Uh, let me uh, unlock these docs again, I guess. There we go. There we go. So now I should see see the chat better, I hope. That was weird. There you go, so now I can lock the docks. Okay, cool. So now if someone talks to chat, I'll be able to see. But it wasn't showing before. That was very annoying. So let's go back. A wasp swarm. Bam. Attacked. These are sun. So I don't want to... I love how the icons value switch back to new icons. There we go.
so that should be fixed now. And attack. Yay for leveling up. That's always good. There we go. So let's uh let's go on another adventure here. You can never have enough adventures. Oh god, what the hell is this thing? Fire shifter. Alright, so I'm gonna switch to my radiant axe. So he didn't like that. There we go. This now 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 we're adventure questing. Now we're adventure questing. Luckily he's actually kind of weak. That and also brought an Arctic wolf with me. Cool. All right, so let me look at your weapons. Regular and patrons only. Level five required. Uh, let's see. Shopping. Beginner. Weapons. So, that's 30 gold. For the weapon. Oops. But what are the stats? It's three to eight. Three to eight is the weapon. This is the battle axe of light. This is the energy blade. Ninja breath. For 30 gold. That seems kind of. Let's see here. Throwing like a boomerang, high accuracy. See, I'm only level four, so I need to level up one more and I'll be able to start buying some decent weapons. So let's go out and, oh God. A Frost Wraith. Maybe I can survive. Maybe I can survive this. Come on, attack. Attack. There we go. And done. I think Yeah, 
Yeah. Unless something crazy happens, I'm not gonna survive this. Use an ally assist. Wind. With an undead aura. Do extra fire, so it might be him. Oh, if I hit him this time, I'm able to do it. God dang it! <laughs> I just did. <laughs> Close. That's a cloud zard. Uh, earth. So let's change my weapons to this. There's like an unlimited amount of Zards. Yo, I'm taking this guy out pretty quick. Because I don't want to... Frogzard. Frogzard Jim. This one's very specific. It's not just Frogzard. It's Frogzard Jim. There we go. So I don't know if anyone else is in the YouTube chat. I found out just recently, Mike, that um, uh, Vinyl was trying to talk to me in the YouTube chat. And even though I have it in my OBS, for whatever reason, it it didn't show the text until I typed something in there and then it starts showing the text again. So I feel bad that he was trying to talk to me and I just didn't see it until I actually went into the web page. Ah, if I go up, I'm almost to uh, next level. Acclaimed warrior. Look at this guy. Weapon. Yeah. Earth is 50, light zero. So my only chance is to alley assist. He doesn't, whoops. He doesn't like darkness. It's called Zorbak. Stop it. God dang it, stop healing yourself. Let's see. And do extra void damage to dragons. Uh, light, fire, water. Hmm. 
Yeah, the only thing that would be good would be is him. It's so good to be evil. Stop healing yourself, you pain in the ass. I don't think he could do it anymore. Oh no, he keeps on getting back FP as he attacks me. Yeah, as he attacks me, he gets SP. I don't have any spells. Get the legendary blade. Get perm. Legendary blade. No thanks. Sure, I'll take the permanent one. Legendary loot. The acclaimed blade. The distinguished blade. I can't buy it. 30 gold. If I want if I want this blade. Sure. For 30 gold? Sure. Why not? I like how we defeat him and it's just a shop. Hey, what's up, Mike? Yeah, I see the YouTube chat now. It was weird. Like I didn't see it before. But now it seems to be working, so. I mean, that's good. Hey, I finally leveled up. Good to see the chat now. Yeah, it's good to see, yeah, it's good to see the chats. Beginner weapons. All right. So I probably want the hot shot blade. It's like I have a fire sword. And a skull sword. Nocturnal Night Edge. That's only 17 gold, sure. Why not? Alright. There's shields. Okay. Wooden shield, dark shield, energy shield. Earth Shield, Wind Shield, Fire Shield. I've been fighting against a lot of dark. Shields are not worth it at the start. Oh, really? But I'm assuming armor is, right? Well, I'm assuming it's just weapon armors. Look at some armors. Demonic. Hands, damage abilities, and higher protection from darkness and fire. That seems interesting. Sure, let's uh, buy one of those.
All right. So let's, um, there's my shields. Get that at higher levels only. Got it. Armor. Demonic. Weapons. See, this one is weak to darkness. So let me get the Nocturnal Knight Edge. Attack. That was, that was pretty quick. Go back to the Mongolian forest. Let's see what this is about. Weapons. Uh, 47 acclaimed blade. Is he susceptible to fire? Yes, actually he is. So let me use the uh, hot shot sword. I like I love how like fast your character just starts to keep wearing just wild shit. The acclaimed blade might do more damage. Um, oh yeah, it's a 175. True, true, true. He says my elemental modifier is 96. I thought the whole point of this armor was to give me better protection against... Well, it's almost 100, I guess. Less it is, the more resistant you are. Gotcha. So, darkness is his biggest weakness. Let's see, what's my light resistance? Armor. I only have steel plate. It's a little bit more resistance. So. Yes. Minotaur Warrior. So his biggest weakness is wind and energy and light and darkness and fire. Uh, hot shot sword. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> what up there? This is adventure quest. Like the original adventure quest that you used to play on, on, on the web back in like 2002. You're watching history. Yeah, this is a history lesson right here. Ari 
had a shield. Weird. I got I got a little doggo. I got a little sword that shot fire. Layout says 2000s. Art style says wanna be retro. Well, you're not wrong because the art style is pretty much that. This is, this is as, this is super old school. And it was funny, this game right here still gets updates. It literally still gets updates in quests. And like, it's a free to play game. So people are still putting enough money into this game, which makes it, makes it worth to them like to keep updating this game and keeping around this game was only played by flash but of course flash is dead so they had to like import it into a launcher let's see Yeah, see, X Fire knows what's up. X Fire knows what's up. This is this is old school right here. This is the ultimate old school. On one of my streams, X Fire, um, we were chatting about like old games we played in early 2000s, and then we came and we started mentioning Ever Adventure Quest, and I was like, I wonder if I could log into my old account. And uh, sure enough, I could log into my old account. <laughs> Unfortunately, it looks like. My old character from the early 2000s is gone. Uh, so this is actually a brand new character I just started, you know, not that long ago. They kept spinning out spinoffs. Yeah. Like the launcher itself is so many, like, there's about like six, game, six seven games in their launcher. There's even like an EverQuest 2. And hold on, let me open up the launcher. Let's see. Yeah, hold on. There's EverQuest Worlds, Epic Duel, Dragon Fable, which I think is their big game that's actually making them a lot of money. There's Adventure Quest, there's Mech Quest, there's Oversouls, there's EverQuest 3D, Idol Quest. Some people like EverQuench MMO. But it didn't seem very decision based yet. Now that your PC is done, I'm downloading six terabytes of games. Guess how much? <laughs> Guess how much you're stuttering right now? I'm sure like a whole bunch. If you're downloading six terabytes, terabytes of games, man. What are you? What's the size of your SSD? Unless you're just putting it all on a hard drive. Because that's a lot of damn games. I only have a 2 terabyte SSD for games, and I have a 256 for my launch for my uh, Windows. Yo, I leveled up. I leveled up. I'm now level 6. Bring it on. Oh, it's this guy. Eight terabyte across four SSDs. Wow. See, my motherboard are, only has um, um, two slots for SSDs. I have another SSD, but the other SSD is like a, a drive-based one. 
and that's where I have Linux installed, which I have to reinstall. It's it's airing out, so I have to reinstall Linux. Dude, I actually might be able to beat this challenge already. I was supposed to have win 20 fights to beat this challenge. And I think I'm already there. And three and a three terabyte compressed external backup. Damn. That's a lot of space. I have, what do I have? I have two terabytes game drive, a 256 C drive for Windows. I have a one, one terabyte drive SSD for Linux. I have a one terabyte hard drive uh, that I, I that just that's an old hard drive that I just brought from an old computer. And I have a six terabyte hard drive um, that I have from another old computer. So like two of my hard drives are literally just hard, literally hard drives from an old computer. I'm, I'm literally surprised those two drives are still perfectly fine after all these years. Like still no issues with those hard drives. Those hard drives are probably going on 10 years old now. It's getting pretty affordable. Yeah. Yeah. If I ever decide to do like upgrade my SSDs and everything, like do a complete Windows reinstall and all that fun stuff, uh, you know, I, I might buy like another, like a bigger uh, gaming drive and then probably take, what I would probably do is take the drive I'm using right now, the two terabyte one, use that as the regular Windows drive and then buy like a four to six terabyte game drive you know what i mean just like i have space for the games because occasionally i do delete stuff off my game drive it's two terabytes but with like the mods and all that stuff sometimes oh crap what the hell is this thing oh crap i didn't realize i was almost dead flee <laughs> I almost realized I almost <laughs> didn't realize I was almost about to die. You must be level 10 to enter the Rip City. You could have used a potion. I don't think I have any potions on me. Oh no, I do have a potion. I also probably should learn some spells, right? Even though I'm a warrior, I'm sh I should be able to learn a spell, right? Buy magic equipment. See, these are just staffs. Ray of light. Here lies the venturer. He died because he was talking tech. Everyone understood exactly. I was talking tech and got distracted. Housing shop, range equipment. There's the travel map. So if I want to go to Granmore, one of Lore's oldest towns was destroyed by a Devourer network and has been rebuilt to defend against a new threat. Let's go to this place. You high enough level to start taking class quests? I have to check. I'll have to check. You know how we are, it doesn't matter what topic. Always on the yeah, exactly. No, you're you're right. You're right. Man, really didn't do God explain it which things to do first. Oh no, no, no. That's this 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 game is Oh god, that is a pissed off little dude.
fighter mage road. Yeah, that's pretty. I'm a I'm a I'm a fighter right now. So I'm a, I'm a fighter right now. Speaking of that, training. Do I have any? I have 15 points. So. HP boost train. You have the fighter armor. Um, I think I have the, just the basic ass armor. I have the steel plate armor. Shopping, beginning, armor. See, I probably should talk to someone about my class. See, I just got enough so I could talk to him. I think he's the fighter guy. I think he's the fighter quest guy. Oh, yeah, here we go. Fighter class quest. I thought I sensed a spirit of battle within you. If you truly wish to train and learn the talents of a fighter, meet me at the training grounds. Or if you're already at least level 10, uh, visit my friend, Sir Thalion, and train to be a knight. Many adventurers start and end their careers by meeting Blackhawk. The gruff, unkept mentor turns down a lot of would-be adventurers, often from hearing the reason they want to learn to do battle. Peoples are perpetually exhausted and confused by his unconventional methods, but those that don't flunk out go on to become some of the best fighters out there. Hearing about this, you know what, well, you have to know what it's all about. You're handy with a weapon, but it's a tough world out there. Whether you're just getting started or adding melee combat to your existing repertoire, your career or professionally getting into trouble will look a lot brighter. If you can get Blackhawk to make time for you. I'm a businessman, DB Fig, and the Blackhawk family venture is wiping adventure uh ventures whipping adventures into shape like nobody else. Okay, let's do uh fighting fighter gear. Okay. There's the fighter armor. Um, blah, blah, blah. It's flexible, but sturdy. Gambinson. It's 146 gold. I can afford that. Bye. Oh, I'm not enough high level. I have to be level 10. Never mind. Never mind. I am not level 10. So yeah, none of this stuff here is good for me yet. Fighter training. Let's do the class quest. Is any as practice? Blah blah blah. I've been known to challenge the marauders, known as princess. I'm supposed to fight them and their cronies to prove what I've learned. To do okay, let's go. So we got to fight princess and his cronies. Ow. So he is fire. I don't have anything weapon. The strongest weapon I got probably against him would be this blade. Armor because of fire. This helps me protect against fire. So let's attack. Ally assist. He is the weakest against ice. Water. He'll do light. He'll do fire. Do water. I think. I guess water is probably my best bet. Wind, water. So either let's do Rabinia. really need to go through your backups and get rid of some uh, depreciated junk yeah i kind of feel the same way every once in a while i feel like i need to go and do a complete wipe on both my windows and linux drives and just start fresh
sometimes I just get that feeling like that might be the best course of action. Oh! No, I guess I used up all my ally assists. I think I have. Unless he just keeps missing. God dang it. Yeah, I'm done. I need... I need weapons that are good against... Um, Fire, actually, good fire, guys. I need to buy like an ice weapon. And I am level six. Sea Slayer. Wow, there's not many ice weapons. There's the Stone Cold Slayer. Alright, so I got the Stone Cold Slayer on me. Then there's the Sea Slayer. For 672. See, now it's getting a little bit more expensive. Now it's getting a little bit... A little bit more expensive. Can I buy... Is this where I buy potions? No, that's from scrolls. Where do I go to buy a potion? Range hunting quest. Do you sell potions? Beginning. This is weapons and armor. Mail. You're fully rested. I don't know what the point is being fully rested, though. Um, where do I go to buy a potion? Purchase titles. Hmm. Me either. I like to try EverQuest Worlds, the MMO, but it'd be too much of a commitment. I I feel you. I feel you, Vinyl. And it's also good to see you, Vinyl. I'm sorry that I was. It seemed like I was ignoring your stuff before. For some reason, your uh, chat wasn't popping up prior. And I don't know why. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, weapons. Hmm. 
He was outside doing chores for 30 minutes and came back in. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, I decided just to jump in and mess around with this EverQuest thing. It's, uh, it's weird. Not EverQuest, uh, uh, Adventure Quest, excuse me. EverQuest will be... I wonder how many people are playing the original EverQuest. That's a question. I wonder if it's still pretty popular. Because I know people are still playing EverQuest 2. Which is kind of crazy. Because EverQuest 2 always, like... I remember I tried it, like, a handful of times. And it was just like, eh. monster goes into a rage. There we go. You know, it's playing people playing EQ1. They have seasonal servers. That removes OP expansions and classes. Around 8,000 on... Really? Holy cow. It's That's one thing I really enjoy about PC gaming. Is that... Is that... Some certain games would just live, live on forever. Like City of Heroes. For years, people were having their own private servers for City of Heroes after it went defunct and the largest one finally just got the okay from uh, the company that owns the license and uh, it's like it's back if you want to play City of Heroes you just you could just do it <laughs> it's pretty incredible and I think they even accept money and all that type of stuff as well I think not 100% of that heck you could play an MMO Right now, that's a hundred percent free. That is like one of the MM, one of the oldest MMOs around. You know, and it's a hundred percent free. It's um, uh, was it a Mountain of Cerberus or Cerberus or something like that? Um, and you can just go. I was called to balance a Korean MMO called Rose Online. You know what? I heard about Rose. I don't. I never played it, but I it vaguely remember Rose. They said without my suggestion, they probably wouldn't release the game at all. Yeah, Shadow. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Shadow of Euserbius. Yeah. And emulation keeps the OG console games alive when the companies that own them won't. Yeah. Yep. Emu emulation and stuff like that needs to be protected. So, screw Nintendo. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Because if we left it in the hands of like companies like Nintendo and Sony, uh, we would not be playing 99.9% .9 of the old games. Yo, what's up, Brad? My notification didn't go out? It didn't? It didn't go out on, um, the Discord? Huh, it didn't. That's weird. I wonder why it didn't go out. I might ha I'm... Yeah, I might have to set it up again. That's weird. You know what? Because I had to reinst... I don't know how the bot works. Um, I maybe when I had to reinstall OBS and stuff, maybe it broke something. Maybe there, maybe there was like some connection with that. And Nintendo straight up hates his customers. Yeah, I know. Nintendo, Nintendo is a bastion of old school early 80s Japanese businessman thinking 
that's that's why you, that's why you're hearing more and more about um, uh, a handful of young, like twenty-something-year-old Japanese game uh, game developers just straight out going independent or just making their own game. It's it's small. It's very small, but you know. I think that's good because you know when you have something like Pal World that blows up, you know half of the half of those guys were literally working side jobs. Like the guy who made the guns for Pal World was literally a convenience store clerk in Japan. You know, so they could just kind of make the games they want. Speaking of Power World, I don't know if you guys uh, saw the announcement. Um, they are bring, bringing in their own version of Pokemon Arena, where it's a it's a three pal on three pal battle arena, and you join as well, shooting. So it's just going to be chaos. Oh my God. <laughs> Curse me, bagpipes. You again. Last time wasn't enough. We've never fought. But if you beat him, you find that he still has a lot of gold on him. He is vulnerable to darkness and wind. Good thing I have my darkness sword. You hit me, you hit me with rainbow magic. He just explodes. 19 gold? I was expecting a lot more. He says if you beat him, he still has a lot of gold on him. 19 gold is not a lot of gold. I feel ripped off. <laughs> I feel lied to. Well, I'm level 7 now. So let's try the, let's try the uh, fighter's quest again. It's like seeing a pile of gold in a game and only get 100. Yeah, like, uh, what was it? Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 did that, which cracked me up. Like, in the in the goblin t uh, the goblin castle thing in uh, Baldur's Gate 3, there's a section where you just see a giant pile of gold. And it's just like a, a couple a couple items and maybe like, a, maybe like 500 gold of that. <laughs> Make sure you buy the fighter armor from him. Yeah, I, I will. I just have to make I have to get to level 10 though. I'm only level 7, so once I get to level 10 though, I will definitely um buy that armor from him. So, he's water. He is susceptible to energy, earth, and darkness. That shit was deliberate troll by the devs and everyone knew it. Oh yeah. The rogue pirate. Wahab the mob. Wasn't it supposed to be swab the deck? He kill he haul.
Yeah, you're done. I still don't know how to get a potion in this game. Will you hit him? Rog and flog. Dude, I'm almost dead. Because I keep missing. Freaking hell. The, f the hell was that? I can't, I can't beat him. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> Why are all these guys way too strong for me? Training. I have five points. Go to the Guardian Tower. Training successful, okay. Greetings, adventurer. This is the Guardian Tower. Inside you'll find Armory, Stable, Teleporter, Nimrod has also some quests. Guardian support uh, the game with a one-time upgrade fee. You can get access to more games and great perks. Tour the tower. Enjoy, look around the tower. Become a guardian to access this book. Leather plate. Items of P can also be taken from the armor armory permanently in exchange of the current no drop 20Z tokens. Touch the chest in the first room. Become a guardian to open up the potion refill box. Yeah, see, I'm not a, I'm not a guardian. That used to be free. Yeah, not anymore. This game, this game is 20 plus years old. They, they, they want, they want their monies. You used to have a guardian account? Yo, what's up, Dan Dun Dun? Uh, yeah, I used to as well. To be very honest, I used to have a guardian account uh, back in the day. Because it used to be super cheap to be a guardian. If I remember right, it was like $5. Or something really, really low. To be a guardian. You just don't remember your old adventure quest account? See, I remember it, but my character disappeared. So unless I'm logged in on a, on a on another account that I didn't know I used, like twenty and you're a guardian forever, yeah, something like that. Yeah, it was just like, so unless I'm logged in into an old account that I never used, my original character is gone. So. Demon cat. Look at this. This uh, is a malicious creature that expresses no emotion other than disdain and wants to sadistically toy with you before killing. In addition to normal cat behavior, this one controls evil elemental magic. I'm about to say that just sounds like a cat. So basically, it's just a cat. It has elemental magic. Always love the uh, frog zard hunter. 
Yeah. There is uh, one more way to get potions, but you need to be level 10. Gotcha. It's kind of fun. It's kind of silly how, like, kind of chill and fun this game still is all these years later. Like... It's very simple, but it's still a fun little game. Him again. You must have it. God damn, get out of my way, Otini. There was probably a particular fun. Now your computer can play with I'll catch it on fire. <laughs> I know. But back in the day, because of Flash. Like people don't remember like how resource heavy if you didn't have like like an okay computer, how resource heavy some of these flash games were. Because they were so freaking like Like, Flash was, like, not really made for what they were doing with Flash. Alright, so he's... He doesn't like... Earth? Light. So light is probably the best weapon to use here. Hold on, does he like cold? I might as well bust up the cold sword. What's the finagling? You just figured out your account again? Really? You found your old account? That's funny. That's funny. Like he doesn't like fire. You wish you could get your Neo Pets counter back. What was another popular game thing back in the day? Ragnarok. Ragnarok Online. I remember the first time I messed around with that game. Some guy was like super happy. And he gave me the full, like, newbie tour. <laughs> Called World of Warcraft. Oh god. It's huge. So he's a wind. So, ice and fire hurt him. And what is my wind resistance? It's not the best. It's actually worse than I had before. So let's get back here. Steel sword, I could do double. I could do double damage with steel sword. Hold on. It slowly improves as you level. Oh, uh, well, it's steel sword. I have a long sword. Oh. 
How do you know it was doing double damage? Hold on, let me look at it. Did I miss it? Oh, shit. I totally missed it was 200%. Yeah. It was just a runt rock. Full-size rocks. Pick up elephants. True. I love, like, what am I doing underwater? Like, how am I breathing? How am I breathing underwater right now? Uh, energy and light. You, you love frog zards? Yep. All, all the czars, man. There's, there's so many of them. See, I'm almost at level eight now. Yep. Speaking of czars. Could you fight the Kraken? Like right now? I don't think. I'm only like... I think it's... It's probably a quest line thing. Hey! I leveled up. Training. Dexterity. Small initiative bonus. Luck. Lucky strike. But I want to do dexterity for right now. Five. All right, so let's uh, look at the weapons. Beginner. Weapons. Um... In tavern, yeah. Actually, let's look at armor. So I'm level eight right now. The crack is in the tavern. Retro flower armor. There's the demonic. There's the wind. Nocturnal. Storeroom. I require aid for a few powerful explorers to obtain a number of objects. If you're interested, please travel south of Batawan and take a boat to the far edge. All right. You notice a small mouse in the hole. says drink me i'll drink some of the potion that potion just shrank me down the size of the mouse that teaches me to, to not drink strange bottles lying around the end the mouse hole looks interesting i don't know what's in there probably just a mouse snail Boss is too slow. Looks like I attack again. Let's do the. Uh... Let's 
There we go. Yay! Beat the snail. Spider. The spider light is his worst enemy. So let me change my armor to darkness. It's very nice that they allow me just to change my shower monster. This is level 35. <laughs> Something's making a scratching sound. Smelly rat. <laughs> Just weapons. Four to ten, four to ten, three to eight. So he's cr across the board. I'm just going to hit him with a fire sword. Look at all these. I just noticed there's all these skeleton bones in the back. So the, these rats, these rats have been basically eating people they drink to drink bee potion. Snake. 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 Smart rats. Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm poisoned, I think. Yes, I found my way back out of the hole. Now what? <laughs> Yulgar land. So instead of Timberlands, they're Yulgar lands. That is, that is amazing. Yulgar's eyesight is a bit poor, and he thinks you're a rat. <laughs> this game is so dumb. Yo, we took him out quick. Yo, we just knocked him out. Weird. My head is tingling. Hopefully, his uh, crazy potion is wearing off. Paper clip. Uh, looks like a tiny paper clip. It's perfect to use as a makeshift uh, rapier, which means it gets stacks bonuses. Uh, if you were a ranged weapon instead of a melee one. Sure, I'll buy it. Because why not? Giant miniature burp. Melee damage, one to four. Oh, it's a, it's a little pet. And now once you free a friend, it also comes with human-sized diseases. <laughs> so I, I could have a a pet rat if I wanted to for 16 gold. Sure, I'll buy I'll, I'll buy a pet rat. The weapon draws the power. Your weapon. Pets are good.
I don't see how many. I'm almost at uh, level nine. Oh wow. So now I got him and I got that. So now I'm just kind of rolling deep. Adventure shield. Demonic. I have yeah, fire is my best bet. He also infects people. So that wasn't that wasn't even just a joke line because he's a rat. He actually infects people. Active status absorbs three HP of healing the target will receive. Oh wow. That's actually kind of useful. So I'm absorbing healing as I go. go tundra reaver he's probably weak to fire yep so i'm probably strong enough now to take out that um the the forest challenge with the 20 bad guys i probably should do it after i get the fighter's quest though because i still don't think i'm ready for the fighter's quest My bandwidth is so maxed out right now. All 300 megabytes of it. Really? That's funny. Can, I mean, can you see the stream at all? Am I, am, are you watching me at like 140p or something? <laughs> Bite me. <laughs> Let's go training, training, endurance. Go into the Mogham Forest. Defeat 20 monsters and receive a special reward. I don't know if I could defeat 20. Healed, healed every two battles. Oh, well, let's see how far I could go. I think once I become a fighter, I can learn a spell, or is that an advanced thing? If I remember right, wasn't it something like certain weapons also cast spells? A powerful ring 
with your man accuracy and uh, enhances the wearer's aim and focus. Costs nothing to use. But is it a... Class armor, you unlock armor and class skills as you level up that class. If I remember right, being a guardian made you pretty damn powerful in this game. It's like they just straight hook you up. Not, uh, not powerful, just better quality of life. Undead princess. Like larger potion bags, earlier acquisition of higher level gear, some areas. Gotcha. Makes sense. This playing this makes me feel like playing a, another game, but I wouldn't play it on stream because it would be completely terrible to play on stream. Uh, because it's a mud. It would have been a game called Dragon Realms. But a mud a mud will be just too much. That's that's not a stream worthy game thing to play. <laughs> That princess hurt me pretty bad. So I'm not ready to keep going. Even though I did, did go through a lot of those guys pretty quick. What's the guardian offer? Hold on. I'm looking up the guardian offer. So I could get the guardian status. A thousand Z coins, bonus access to the game for twenty dollars, or uh, you could get the Guardian Plus, an X boost. You get a Monster Battle Experience boost, five hundred Z coins, uh, mana, every the whole nine yards for twenty four ninety five. Jeez. Inflation, man. Inflation. <laughs> Let's see. 
there's another tier now? Yeah, there's, a, there's another tier. You could be a guardian, or you could be a guardian that also gets an experience boost plus stuff. Let's see. Frost Giantist. Holy crap. Fire. Hotshot Sword. Jeez. Dude, she's whooping the shit out of me. Yeah, I don't think I can survive this. Yeah. They kicked the crap out of me, man. That's that's supposed to be for fighter trainer. What level am I? I'm like level eight, right? No, I'm level nine. This little freaker again. darkness. There we go. Let's go back to the Moglin Forest. Let's see how this works. Uh, dark. Okay, this is perfect. There we go. Moglin Fiend. In this game, having like the right weapons is always the most important thing. I'm kind of glad I went into the mouse area. The rat doesn't do a lot of damage, but, you know, just every little bit helps.
There we go. Get a little bit of healing. An, am <laughs> an ambush. Ambush. Kill it. Get XP. Rinse. Repeat. Yeah. Fire is 120. Let's see your hot shot sword. That's fine. I'm fighting. I'm fighting a bush. You were ambushed by a plant. <laughs> Get it with a hairy. I know. <laughs> I think I had like a bubblegum sword when I when I played back in the day. It was great. It's like a bubblegum or like lollipop sword or something like that. I'm about to hit level 10. Yay, I leveled up. So now I can just get better weapons. Oh, I could probably buy the, um, equip the holy hand grenade. I think that's in here. Also, I think I could buy the, um, the fighter gear now. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing much better now. Now that I'm level 10. I think I think I just hit the uh, the little hill. It says I get a special prize. If I if I beat all the bad guys. Let's just keep on going. Oh god, this thing. Oh, it's just it's just the owl this time. Just fighting a random ass owl. I thought it was the whole uh, wood brigade. <laughs> I like how he dodges just by spitting. This game is so dumb.
There's so many of these Moglin fiends, man. It's also getting kind of late. I can't believe I've been playing Adventure Quest for two and a half hours. What is life? You got me hooked on it again too. God, gotta, gotta, gotta be careful here. Because of this damn turtle. You gotta, you gotta kill him before this turtle gets there, because that turtle will jack you up. The exploding turtle. Is that bunny with a log rocket launcher? Yes, he is. He, he's, he's rocking a log rocket launcher. Uh, this one hates darkness. Yeah. It's a harpy. You can tell by the drawings, like, how old characters were in the game like the more intricate animated ones are somewhat new in reason and then there's some that definitely look like they were like a first draft which is hilarious very d and &E final fantasy inspire looking in art yeah A more innocent time of fantasy. Yep, very much. Where, where people weren't so super serious about their fantasy all the time. Where sometimes just having like... An evil bunny with a rocket launcher was a fantasy bad guy. And if that's all you needed was the evil bunny. People inject social political issue fantasy, but rather use it as escape. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I bet defeat lots of monsters. Yeah, sure. Oh God, this damn thing. This damn thing. 
This thing is terrifying. Keep the past to be great because the Wheel of Time. The Wheel of Time is a good book. I like the Wheel of Time. The Wheel of Time was fun. Um, series? Wait a second. Am I thinking the right book? No, I'm thinking the Time Machine. I was thinking of the time machine, not the wheel of time. Time had 15 books in total, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm closing in on the 20. One was a companion guide and one was a short story prequel. There we go. Unless the final per bad guy in this ends up being super strong, I think I might be able to beat this little challenge. The Moglin Forest Challenge. You could be a little OP at the moment. Well, I mean, they were kicking my butt just a little bit ago. It's amazing what only like two or three levels can do, especially in early game. Also, I think it's hilarious that they, your stats just don't automatically go up. You have to distribute the points by going to a certain area. Like how many people would have forgotten to like upgrade their points every level? You know where there's no ads? YouTube. <laughs> uh, let's see here. All right. I have four more fights. Of God dang it. I'm so tired of fighting these damn goblin mo moglin fiends. Too broke for a sub, but you don't have to rub it into it. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Good old Twitch, man. 
Did you hear that Twitch might be raising the, the sub prices too? Like, they've already raised it in a couple countries. But... They're probably going to be raising it to like $6 in the US soon. I know EA Play decided to raise prices. I just, I don't know how many people subscribe to EA Play. Like, I have Game Pass that gives you access to some of EA Play. You know what I mean? But just to subscribe, like, the people who subscribe just to Ubisoft or just to EA, I'm just like, you might want to streamline the tip jar at this point somehow. Yeah. I'm going to pretend I didn't forget. <laughs> May your road lead you to warm sands. Oh. <laughs> Yo, thank you so much, Mike, for uh, subscribing with uh, Twitch Prime. And you tested out, uh, you're the first person to test out the alerts. I, did, I, it sounds like everything came up properly, right? On stream. Oh, yeah, Game Pass. Is one billion percent the be the the better deal? So, may your road lead you to warm sands. I just I just wanted to make sure the alert came up. It worked first time. Okay, good. Because, like I said, I had to re and put everything in. So. Thanks for, thanks for the thanks for the sub, the prime, and also thank you for uh, testing out my thingamajiggy to make sure it works. I kept it everything simple for now until later on. That might be a factor for you to get it. Speaking of, I wish Bethesda would stop trying to update Fallout 4 and actually get Creation Kit out for Starfield. Yeah, you're not you're you're not wrong. I'm broken, Marie. We got. We're all dropping else today. No, I just appreciate you guys watching and stuff. Like I said, the you know, any tips and whatever you guys do, you know, send. I save. Like I said, the the amount of times the payouts were literally the difference of me buying groceries or not is embarrassing to say. It's been a handful of times but you know i always just appreciate that you guys are here and hopefully you know i'm trying to do things in the short form area when it comes to videos to hopefully start increasing and getting more people in the streams and stuff um you know just for more folks to talk to and stuff cost of living and getting any better no it's not More of these guys. All right, bam. Look at all these, look at all these guys. attack them whatever prize my rent is going up 120 this summer that sucks that that, that happened to me um, not this last renewal but the renewal before that it went mine went up like a hundred and this time I only went up 50 but still these, these prices man a friend of mine had to move out of his apartment uh, that he was living in for like 12 years because um, and he made decent money he was a he was a I think he's a plumber or something so it wasn't like he was like hurting but his rent he lived in California and he was paying about like 1300 a month for a while 
and then the new owners came in, the new landlords, and then when it's a renewal came in, they added $1,200. And he's like, I can't live here anymore. If you're raising my rent $1,200, he's like, what, what crack are you smoking? And what's funny, yeah. And what's funny is that he moved out. He found a place, I mean, more expensive than what he was paying, but not $1,200. And a year, yeah, exactly. And a year or so later, he checked no one has rented that place out. So he's like, well, you missed out a year's worth of rent because no one's going to pay your your $2,700 rent. or You know what I mean? Undead princess. Yeah, legit, exactly. And it wasn't like, I mean, and it wasn't like he was, he's living, the area was like somewhere like super nice. It was like kind of like a, like a working class-ish type of area, you know, not near a mall or anything. So it was like, like, what are, what are you doing? <laughs> like it wasn't the ghetto by any stretch, but it was definitely working class area. Yeah. I mean, it's just like you hear, like, you hear about all, like, those, like, these rich tech bros that live, like, in, like, San Francisco and stuff like that. What they don't show is that the vast majority of those people working at these tech startups, these young people are, like, living in San Francisco, eight people to one apartment, and each person is paying, like, $1,500 because that's the only way to afford rent. Yay. Wow, I can't believe you battled through 20 monsters. You're a true champion. So, see you later. Let's see those rewards. Oh, okay, here it is. The Forest Champion Spear. But wait, wait, wait. There's not a level 10 or whatever version? Because I'm level 12 now. There's only level 5? There's not a 10. It goes 5 to 25. That's range damage 2 to 12. A spear. Can the fighter use the spear? The fighter could use the spear, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to make sure it wasn't like, because it's at range. I just want to make sure any class can use any weapon. Uh, okay. All right. I just wanted to make sure that, you know, about that. So, all right. That's good to know. Leave. All right. So let's go to the tent. So I have 15 points. Five. Five. Lucky strike. Bonus dodge. Mana points. Five. Train. Okay. So I've trained up my stuff a 
bit. Oh, let's, um... Buy from this store. Fighter gear. There's the fighter armor. Buy. Yes. All right. There's a weapon called the Thunder Crusher. I will take that. Your inventory is full. Sell or buy a slot. Well, I guess I could sell. Oh, yeah, I can't sell that. I have this and the Radiant Axe. The Axe is not worth anything. Well, let's... Uh... Are you ready to be a fighter? Fighter training. Ice. <laughs> wow. Adventure shield. Weapon. He's probably fire, right? Yeah. Is he? He's ice. Uh, yeah. Oh, crap. The stupid dog I was going to give him health. Oh, my God. He hit me for 41. Stop giving him health back. No. Now I've equipped fighter armor unlocks. The oh, that's crap. I totally forgot to unlock. Overwhelm. Try to push your enemy by giving a chance to catch your breath after spending. Spend two turns on as many melee attacks, and you'll heal more. The better you do. All right, so I just got a heavy blow. Jeez. Do not, don't lose your aim or batter it around. I'm still, I still can't beat this. <laughs> I'm still too weak. Like, it's supposed to be early, early level stuff. But it's like, nah. <laughs> it's like, nah, son. I'm level 12 now. That's 11 to 12.
Spark Blade is level 50, but yeah. Well, that's 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 fun, playing good old, basic old adventure quest. But um, all right, guys. But that's that's enough for me today. Almost three hours of adventure quest. Time for me to go sleep. Uh, thanks everybody again. Seriously, be it on YouTube or Twitch, uh, for hanging on out. Um, you guys rock. And uh, just let me know in the Discord if there's other games that you want me to try out or or whatever. And um, I'm gonna go get some sleep. <laughs> Straight up. Good night, all.